This time on the Mopar Channel, we take a walk around and learn the history of this all original Survivor. 1970, F4 Lime Green, one of 3,401 built with a 340 and a 3 speed manual transmission. As told by its owner, Tim Kinslow. This whole story starts is in 1974. I went, to, my father and I went to the local Dodge dealership here in Indianapolis and went to buy my first car. I was 16 years old and um, we, we ended up at a Chrysler Plymouth dealership and dad let me buy an F4 Green uh, 70 Duster with factory body side moldings, but it was a slant six with factory air and automatic. And years go by, I've, I've been very fortunate being in this hobby for a long time and, and having some, a lot more Mopars. And this particular F4 340 three speed became available uh, from a friend of mine uh, that only collects survivor cars. And uh, I pulled the trigger on it. So uh, it, it was sold new out of the Peoria, Illinois area. Um, I've, and I've got all this paperwork in the trunk here, but um, the gentleman drove it uh, until it, the odometer went to 25,000 miles, and that was in 1973, and he parked it. So from 1973 to 2021, which is when my buddy bought it from the estate uh, sale, uh, it had set for 47 years, 48 years, whatever that is, um, in a nice dry storage facility. Still sported the original tires. Uh, it, it's a 25,000 mile car. Um, still had the original tires, belts, hoses, spark plug wires, original exhaust. Uh, it was pretty much a, a, a survivor, unrestored time capsule and uh, getting the opportunity to buy that F4 green with the factory body side moldings, I went back to 1974 myself. So, um, great car. Uh, I, I did end up pulling the motor and tranny out of it just to paint the motor and tranny. A lot of my hardcore Mopar guys were giving me all kinds of fits about that because they said, you gotta leave it, you know, but I'm a little OCD. Um, so, my name's on the title, I can do anything I want. Ended up putting some reproduction polyglass uh, GTs on because the old original tires are hard as a rock, but I still have them. Um, but it's, uh, it, it, it's a great, great collection to my other few vehicles that I do have, just because of the memories that I've got of the F4. So, get in this, start jamming some old Fog Hat or, or you know, some good old Steely Dan. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> 